Hi, this is Mashnu, and here I have a new instructive middle game fragment. And um, well, as you know, the best procedure to um, to learn chess is not only to watch the examples and 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 uh, follow the explanation, but to think as if this was the game that you were playing. Imagine you are playing this, you are playing white here. What what would be your plan? What would you like to do here? Um, perhaps it's a good idea to pause the video now and uh, take about 10 minutes to, to think about this position and calculate perhaps some variations. Alright, so this position is taken from the game between Natalia Bogonina and Elizabeth Petz, played in uh, Nine, I'm sorry, in 2007. And um, what the most important thing is in this position is from White's point of view, the square e6 here, this is the square where we would like very much to, um, to have a knight. Imagine a knight on e6, it cannot be chased away by the opponent's pawns, it controls very important squares and from black points of view it would be interesting to continue this pawn storm here playing g5 g4 and try to play for a king side attack also it's needed for black to activate this knight that is on e6 now on a6 i'm sorry it would be good to bring it to to, to c5 and have it more involved in the action of the game now white, if white plays immediately knight to d4 to bring the knight to e6, then black replies bishop takes d4 and after queen takes d4, f3, black is again uh, attacking and white is far from reaching his, uh, his ideal position with the knight on e6 so this, let's say, shortest way doesn't work what happened in the game is that uh, Bogonina played knight to b5. So she's rerouting this knight from b5 to d4 to e6, and that's the correct thing to do. g5 was played here, and now knight from b5 to d4. The queen is under attack. Queen g6 was played, and here knight d4 to e6. That's the position that white wants, wanted to reach. The rook on f7, on f8 is attacked. It went to f7. And here comes a very important moment. Because right here, um, white played queen takes a5. And that is an, well, a bit of a strange decision in the sense that suddenly you're grabbing a pawn with white instead of uh, let's say activating more your pieces and in an analysis of this game that was made by uh, Jacob Agard um, Agard says that instead of queen takes a5 a better move would be rook b to e1 activating an inactive piece and preparing to um, to, to double up the rooks on the e-file. That looks very logical. If here black continues with g4, continuing his attack, then we could play h takes g4, queen takes g4, now queen, um, I'm sorry, rook to e4, followed by rook f1 to e1. So that would be a very healthy development. The interesting thing is that in the game, after queen takes a5, white wins a pawn, loses the tempo by going with his queen to a5, and then the queen has to return to the king side in a few moves. Here g4 was played, h takes g4, queen takes g4, the g file is open now. The plan of black could be to play king to h8, followed by rook a8 to g8 to start an attack against g2. So, white played queen back to e1. Now the next moves are very beautiful. First we see king to h8 
and white plays queen to d1 now I would like to ask you to pause the video again and think about what is the purpose of this queen move from e1 to d1 okay so I suppose you have paused the video and just take a look at the following moves black continued with his plan rook from a8 to g8 to the g-file to fight against g2 and here comes a wonderful move that shows the purpose of this queen d1 move it's knight from f3 to g5 what a beautiful move the queen on g4 is under attack if black takes on d1 then first white plays knight takes f7 check and then retakes the queen and if the queen moves away somewhere else the same thing follows so here white is winning material queen f5 was played in the game and then knight takes f7 check queen takes f7 and queen to f3 and with queen to f3 actually white paralyzes the um, attack from black f3 cannot be played any longer and the game continued quite some some moves but actually here it's already uh, decided it's uh, this is this is a one position for white you have clearly with white more material control over the position black doesn't have really much counterplay and the f4 pawn is uh, is under attack so this is this is a, a very good position for white now let's summarize what happened here I'll return to the initial position this was it was here here we see that the plan of black is to attack on the king side the plan of white is to bring in knight to to e6 and that is done by this maneuver and then we see that white takes a pawn there another option would have been rook b to e1 pay attention that not rook f to e1 this would be a mistake because after rook f to e1 we cannot we cannot double up the rooks okay so we cannot play rook e2 and, and rook b to e1 because the rook on b1 is pre. so important the alternative would be rook b to e1 but in the game queen takes pawn g4 takes takes queen back and now this beautiful move queen to d1 followed by knight to g5 this is great all right and after this moves um, actually this this part of the game was over and, and later uh, Natalia Bogoni now won this this game with white of course all right thanks for watching and I, I hope that you found this uh, interesting and instructive and I'll see you next time on YouTube goodbye